Good morning, everyone. It is about 9.20 a.m. here Monday morning. It is day three of installing the bits. <laughs> so we just got here. Joel has already started on the truck. Um, he's doing a phenomenal job. So he hit everything that was bare on day two and everything that he welded with a coat of steel it. He'll probably hit it with one more coat. While the first coat dries, he is greasing some bushings over here um, for the upper and lower control arms. That way they articulate correctly, they don't wear themselves out super fast. And he's also fitting um, the little nipples here. So we're gonna do that. And then once we get everything dry, get everything greased up, throw everything in, we're gonna start working on that rack, cutting that steering rod, welding it, sleeving it, and kind of just going from there. But we should get some good progress today. It should be pretty close to being done. We're just waiting on one part from power brakes, but that comes in tomorrow. And that'll basically let us extend or actually connect the long travel brake lines to the aftermarket big brake kit. Joel's always dropping stuff, man. He's always mad. I don't know why. Just kidding, he's not mad. steering shaft down the problem with the tundra rack was uh, we didn't have enough it was too long with steering shaft so we have to shorten it some and to strengthen it some we're gonna go ahead and sleeve it with this spacer here so once we do a butt weld on here we'll do a sleeve on both sides and finish that weld off and it should be pretty strong so this is where we're at uh, Joel ended up taking about an inch off of the steering shaft here and then coned out this little sleeve so it sits up against here flush. Now what he's gonna do is basically weld it here all the way around. And then the trick is gonna be getting this to sit as straight as possible in here. But it looks like he coned out the inside of this part too. So it sits flush up in here. So then it's a lot easier to get this to sit straight when it's inside there. So he's gonna tack it up both sides and then we're gonna test fit it one more time to make sure it's the right length. And then once that's done, he's actually gonna do the full weld job on it. But he took about an inch, inch off of the steering shaft here to fit the rack. All right, so we got an inch taken out of that steering shaft. We have the sleeve kind of tack welded in place. We're gonna test fit it one more time to make sure it's all good. And if it's good, then Weld it all up, paint it up, install it back up, and then actually mount the steering rack and get the new Clevis upgraded steering started and get the double shear done, throw shocks in, and just waiting on a brake line adapter from power brakes at that point. That should be here tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait to drive this thing. So we're happy with that fitment. It looks good. So Joel is gonna go ahead and weld this whole thing on, clean it up, paint it up, and then we'll get it on the truck, bolt down the steering rack, start working on the Clevis upgrade steering, um, inners and outers, start doing the double shear for that, and then it's just throw stuff into the truck. So the coilovers, the bypasses, see if we have room for by or the hydros, I don't think we will, and then just go from there. I swear you won't die. Promise? Cross my heart. Cross my video. heart. You won't die. <laughs> so while this cools off, we're gonna go ahead and throw coilovers and bypasses back in with uppers and lowers. We'll come back to this once it's cooled off. Hit it with a couple coats of steel it so it doesn't rust. Throw it back in and start bolting in that tundra rack. All right, rack is going back in. We'll run the bolts. We have the steering shaft cut to the right length. Joel just double checked to make sure that all the hoses were gonna fit there correctly and they do. So, and it goes again for number, the what is this, fifth time it's gone in and out? But, better do it right. All right, lowers are going in. Joel was nice enough to clean up these SPC cam bolts for me so they look brand new now. 
But lowers are going in, then uppers will go in, and then shocks and bypasses will start to go in. Then bolt that thing down. So we've got coilovers, bypasses in there. Uh, Joel is going to go ahead and we've got the uh, Tundra steering rack kind of mocked up. He's going to go ahead and install the diff drop kit and then we'll start bolting in the resi up top, tightening the top hats of the coilovers and figure out how we want to mount reservoirs and then just go from there. So this is our eight inch short body coilover. And what makes it a short body is we use an overhead top cap. And that reduces it by one inch. And then we add the one inch back with our extended rod end. And that's to clear the CV axle. The other thing that makes it cool is our fin resis increases the surface area and a little bit helps with the cooling capacity. And then our 22 click compression adjusters, standard on all lock shocks. Then we have our triple bypass over here. This is a Dirt King specific length. It's 24.7 inches fully extended and 16.7 uh, collapsed. Triple bypass, fin resi, that's the setup. Okay, so we're at the point now where bypasses and Uppers, lowers, coilovers are all in. Joel is now putting these spindles back on, attaching the CVs, and probably put the spindle to the upper to hold everything in place nice and neatly. And then I think after that, we're gonna start working on that rack a little bit more, figure out where we have to notch frame if we have to at all. He's got the diff drop in there. You can see in the little shiny silver spot down there underneath, but it is coming together and it looks gnarly. Joel said it looks like crap, but I don't agree. <laughs> so I had to go to the airport with Riley because I had to get a rental car myself since my truck is here for at least another day. Um, while it was gone, Joel kicked it into hyperdrive. So we've got uppers, lowers, all bolted in, uh, spindles, hubs, rotors, brakes, all bolted in, bypasses, coilovers, and all that. While it was gone, he went ahead and welded in the limit strap, painted it. So that's all set. Looks like CVs are all good. And he is putting heat shrink on the resi clamps right now so it's black on black it's not metal on metal it's just a little bit cleaner of a look he'll mount the uh, resis for the bypasses first and then we will work our way towards the resis for the coilovers and then after that it's really just bolt in that tundra rack put the oil cooler back in and then bolt down the front diff what else we got on this side same story yep same story on this side a minute to wait for the uh power brake big brake line adapter so slowly but surely should be able to drive it tomorrow before i go to washington come on <laughs> we're working on mounting the resi for the coilover now so with dirt king's kit you mount to where your sway bar would have been but we're fighting aftermarket here with aftermarket here. So with the C4 um, bumper brace to the frame, that won't work. So what we're gonna do is cut straight down here and then mount this up like that. And the resi will sit high up here. So it'll be out of the way of the tire, out of the way of rocks. I think it'll be 
the best location for it. And then all the suspension and all that stuff will be dialed. Work on the rack tomorrow, some more. Limit straps are in. CVs are in. It's looking really good. Like really, really good. All right, let's get these resis mounted. Call it a day.